Cisco Identity Services Engine Authorization Profile. All right, so let's continue our path here of getting all these elements built out. We'll go to Policy, Policy Elements Results. We're going to go to Authorization, Authorization Profiles, and we're going to go ahead and add a profile here. And we're going to create three profiles, one for Sales, HR, and IT. And these will be assigned to our VPN use case. So we'll go ahead and give it a name that's meaningful. And for sales, what we're going to do is we're going to tie in that downloadable ACL we made in the previous video. So let's go ahead and select that here. You can see there's a list here. We want sales. And we're also going to scroll down here. And we're going to assign a group policy from the ASA itself. So let's select ASA VPN and we'll give this, all we have to do is enter the, the name. And this is a radio, radius attribute that's gonna be passed back. And it will automatically assign the sales group policy to the sales user. So we'll go ahead and hit submit. And once this is done, what we'll do is let's take that sales VPN authorization profile and duplicate it. Let's modify the name, call it HR. We'll select that downloadable ACL and we'll select the HR VPN DACL, again, that we created in the previous video. Go ahead and select that and we'll scroll down to the ASA VPN and we'll change that group policy to be HR-GP. And we'll go ahead and hit submit and we'll go and do another one uh, that's centered around the IT use case. So we'll go ahead and duplicate and we'll name it. We'll go ahead and select IT VPN DACL. And we'll grab that ASA VPN radius attribute for IT group policy, IT-GP, and we'll go ahead and submit. And that's it. Now we have our authorization profile that we can use in our policy sets a little bit later.